Hello, 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 and welcome with Cooking with Camille. I'm your girl Camille, and we're here to make something quick and easy. Dinner. We're going to make dinner. We're going to have make some fried corn. We're going to cheat. We're not going to use corn off the cob. We're going to use corn in the can to make it quick. And we got some uh, California medley. I was going to do some green beans, but I didn't have enough. Then I, this chicken over here, I seasoned for bake. And this season right here, we're going to fry it, okay? I want some of us want fried chicken, some of us want baked chicken. So we got the grease going hot. And we're going to put the vegetables on. And season them. And I season the wings with some all-purpose seasoning from I Got You Seasonings. You can order offline, okay? I Got You Seasoning. This is all-purpose. And I use some Greek all-seasoning. I got you. And I told you what was in it. And the Greek is black, I mean garlic, black pepper, onion powder, dehydrated garlic, lemon, mint, and other secret ingredients. They don't tell you. And then in the other one, um, the all-purpose is salt, pepper, paprika, onion, garlic, black pepper, and secret seasoning. Then you know, of course, I threw some Italian seasoning in there, okay? So let's get this party started, okay? Let's get these vegetables on. We're going to open the bag and put them in. And we're going to season them with these seasonings I use. We're going to season it with some butter. And some water. And we're, that's all we're going to do with this. Okay. Season it a little bit. Both seasonings. I got some Italian seasoning. I use that whole container on the chicken. And you only need a little water because you want them to stay crispy, okay? So we're going to put these on and now we'll start our corn. Okay, for our fried corn, we're going to turn all these eyes on. We're going to turn it on four, okay? Now, usually when we do our corn, we put a little big fish grease. I'm not going to use that. So I'm just going to get, let me go get some regular oil in here I'd rather have some turkey drippings or baking drippings for the corn it really would make it better I'm gonna see if I can find some bacon oh look the bacon makes it taste better but we're not gonna do it I'm not going to do it anyway I'm washing my cans off and I'm gonna open the cans so we're going to throw our chicken in the oven and start baking it. Usually I put the oven on 350, but I got on 375 today. Okay, so we're going to start our corn over here. I'll put a little vegetable oil in the pan since we don't have no bacon oil. Put by the, to cover the bottom of the skillet. We're going to let that heat up. We're going to drain our corn, our... um. Gonna drain our whole corn. We got whole kennel corn. I'm doing two whole corns and I'm gonna do two cream corns. We're cheating for this fried corn, y'all. Cheat, 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 cheat. I'm not using I'm not taking it off the cob. Okay. So we're draining the corn, the whole corn draining. You don't want none of that juice, okay? Okay, now we're gonna take the cream corn can of cream corn, any kind you want. This is what I had in the cupboard. So this is what I'm going to use. Not the cupboard, the pantry. Make sure you clean your tops off good because you don't never know who's walking on your cans in the store or in your home. Any kind of bug or anything. So always clean your can up when you open. Then we're going to put the two whole cans in there. Then we're going to season it with what you want to season it with. We're going to add some of this Greek seasoning I told you about. Because it's got all those flavors in it. Garlic, pep, uh, black pepper, onion powder, dehydrated garlic, lemon, and mint. We're going to use this. This is the only one we're going to use because we don't want to make it too salty. We're going to put that in there for seasoning. Put some black pepper in there. And 
And guess what? We're going to put our Old Faithful. We're going to put some sugar in there. We're going to use about... I got a scoop like this. I say that's about... We're going to use about four tablespoons. Sugar makes it good. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now we're just going to keep stirring it while it cook. Let me get my spatula. Well, there I go. Usually I have to lose. I'm going to find a big spoon. My big spoon is better because it, you know, you get that black crumb uh, stick and you want to. This is an iron skillet, so you can use a uh, metal to it. So I'm going to use this metal spoon. It worked better this day. You put all them seasonings in there. Just stir it all in. Oh, we need this bacon dripping. Bacon drippings make it so good. That's the only pork I eat is bacon. But oil will be fine. Just what we got here in the seasoning. Just let that cook. We're going to let it cook until our chicken get done. The longer you let it cook, the better it tastes. Did y'all know that? The longer you let it cook, the better it tastes. And just keep stirring it. And we got this on low. That'll be done by the time the chicken get done. Then we got the grease going for our fried chicken. And we'll get the flour and stuff ready for our fried chicken. Okay, I think our grease is ready. I uh, got the chicken and I battered it with some, uh, I used flour. I'm gonna drop the chicken in here. I used flour. I used, uh, one minute. I'll uh, flour. And I use cornstarch, a little bit of cornstarch, about two, a tablespoon of cornstarch. And then I use, uh, season it with the, the seasoning that I had, I season it with that. The cornstarch, I don't, I see everybody using cornstarch, so I'm going to start using it. It makes the chicken look so pretty. I don't know what they be doing. So, and then I uh, season it with the seasonings that I had, the same seasoning, add a little paprika to the flour. And we just drop in here. We're only gonna drop two in at a time. It's a, a small fryer. I didn't want to bring my big fryer out. Okay, then we're gonna start checking on our corn. Start stirring that. I want you to look at this. Starting to thicken up already. I'm gonna turn it down some because it's starting to stick. It's making a thick sauce. Okay, and our vegetables are still cooking. Yeah, chicken frying, and then we got the big chicken in it, okay? Okay. I'm going to check on our corn. And you have to stir this corn like every two, five minutes so it won't stick. Oops, let me see. You be watching the stove all day. And let me tell you, tell you a secret my mama used to tell me. It ain't cream corn unless something come on your spoon. When you stir it, when it, all that grit come on your spoon, that means that it's cooking, it's good. Let me see if it's on my spoon. Oh, there it go. The grit on your spoon, that's coming from the bottom. That means your corn is doing good. So always remember that. She said, that's the stuff on the bottom is, oh my goodness, that's the goodness of the corn. Okay, y'all better ask somebody. Okay, then you can take it off. Or leave it on and give it a good flavor. Okay, I'm going to check on our chicken. I think it's ready to come up. Whew. Drain it. Look at this. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Get that other one. Y'all have a... I'll be back. And it's almost done. We're just waiting on the baked chicken. Everything is done. And when the baked chicken come up, we will plate everything up. I turned it on low so it can just simmer and cook. Same way with the other one, okay? Yep, there's water in there. Okay. We're just waiting on that because it's the last of the fried chicken. And then we're just waiting on the baked chicken. Okay, y'all, y'all know I'm special. I had to add something else. I got some biscuits in the refrigerator. We're going to make some garlic butter biscuits. We're going to spray our pan real good. Oh, the 
can of biscuits. I'll open them up. Spread them in there. I know I can get probably all eight of them in there. But you know me, I'll squeeze it in there somehow. We're going to make some room. Get over there from... Y'all get over there so Mama can get in there. There you go. We got it. Okay. Now let me get some butter. I'm going to get some butter and rub on there. Okay. Butter. For all of them. I got some soft butter. I always keep soft butter out. Butter or margarine, whatever you want you got. It'll work. It's all the same. Almost. The same got the same ingredients. And once you get all the butter on there, I'm gonna put I'm gonna use garlic pepper, garlic and pepper. You can use whatever you want, just garlic salt. I couldn't find just the garlic salt, so we're gonna use the garlic and pepper. And you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put let me see what I got in a cupboard. Y'all know how I am, I'm special. Yeah, oh, okay, some garlic powder. I'm gonna use this garlic powder. Okay. Oh, I guess it ain't gonna come out because it's a new bottle. How about that? Okay, I gotta take the cover off. Y'all know I'm special. Didn't I tell y'all I'm special? I'm gonna throw some of that on there. Okay, that's good. Let's throw them in the oven now. When they get done, the chicken should be done. And we'll plate up everything. Okay, here we go, y'all. Dinner's ready. Easy dinner. Took about an hour. We got uh, vegetable medley with broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. We got some, Lord Jesus, we got some, mm, some fried corn. Okay, we got some fried chicken. Look how pretty that chicken is. And we got some baked chicken. And some hot sauce with some garlic rolls. Oh, my God, these garlic rolls. Look like homemade biscuits. Look at garlic biscuits. That's what they are. Look at that. They look like. Mm, mm, mm. Well, there we go. Our dinner for today. Y'all. Uh, chicken. Fried chicken. Baked chicken. Vegetables. Fried corn. And biscuits. Well, y'all. We ain't doing no dessert because we got birthday cake left over from yesterday. So, we'll be doing the birthday cake. Okay? All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh. Please subscribe. On my YouTube channel, Cooking with Camille McGowan. And don't forget, at the end of the month, we'll do a drawing. If you say something on the comments, all I ask you to do is say one thing on the comments. Say, I like the food. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, uh, give, uh, thanks for the recipe. Anything you can say on the comments, just do that. And then your name will be in the drawing. I'll start, um, do the drawing on the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. Yes, I will. Okay? All right, y'all, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.